So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we're back today with Master League coverage as we take on Bournemouth in today's episode. There is David De Gea talking about he's, uh, he's focused ahead of the up and coming derby. Uh, it's always a special occasion. I wish it would just stay there. Stop moving, stay there till I say next. It's uh, always a special occasion when we go up against Liverpool. And that's why uh, me and other guys are chomping at the bit to play them. Chomping at the bit to play them. Wow, that is very interesting wording by David De Gea. There is uh, Wan Bissaka. We've been training really well. I think we're going to do well. I really wish they'd work on some of this wording. It's, it's like it's Google translated sometimes. It's quite funny. Anyway, for today, so our spirit is slowly going up. Even without Pogba, it's slowly going up because we're uh, we're winning some games, and, yeah, and I'm trying to keep the same similar kind of lineup as well. So for today, unfortunately, David De Gea is on orange. So I'm going to keep keep I'm going to keep I'm going to keep Romero in goal. Uh, Lindelof, Maguire, Wan Bissaka, Luke Shaw. Same lineup at the back that we had in the last game. We got Matic, McTominay, Lingard will start, obviously because he's playing relatively well. Then we've got Martial is back, finally. Greenwood in the middle and Rashford on the right. Uh, Daniel James, the thing about Daniel James, especially when I'm playing on Legendary, he's just not quick enough. Not, And I'm not saying he's not fast enough. I mean, he's not quick enough on the ball. His dribbling and his touch is so slow, I don't really get a chance to do much with him. Yeah, he's got blistering speed, but it doesn't work very well when the rest of him is not very complete. I think his stats are a little bit poor. I think they could be uh, definitely upped a bit. But, you know, we'll see if he comes on later, definitely. But I think you've got to start Rashford and Marcio over him. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Let's look at Bournemouth. They've got Wilson and Solanke up top. I'm putting in a tight mark, them two players. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's dive right into this one. The usual settings of playing on Legend. We might as well keep it on Legend because I think it's been relatively enjoyable. Not the easiest matches in the world, but certainly doable. Uh, if you haven't checked out my review, of course, check that out. I put it out yesterday for PES 2020. Of course, leave your opinions as well of what you would rate it out of 10. Anyway, let's dive into this one. We will give Bournemouth... We've got the blue or... Oh, okay. You know, I'm liking that yellowy urine color uh, so that's good enough let's do this man united against bournemouth so manchester united return to old trafford that's right taking on 11th place bournemouth man united are still undefeated by the way this season in the premier league and jose Mourinho's side will be looking to extend that run today so off we go. Manchester United from left to right. A few minor alterations to the lineup that beat Rangers midweek. What a match that was. It was a, a quite a stale first half, wasn't it? Nil-nil, and then out of nothing, Man United came out the floodgates in the second half. Lingard came on, scored two, got an assist. And Manchester United went on to win three goals to two themselves. And here's an early chance for Marcus Rashford, but. He was bundled out of the way. So they want to try and keep that momentum going. It's not been easy for them. Especially missing a, a massive key player in Paul Pogba. We keep speaking about it, but he is a massive player. And certainly someone that United will miss in the long run. Here is Brooks to Sermon. Well played, McTominay. He's trying to hold off his man, but credit to Bournemouth for winning it back. There's a chance to swing it around the other way. Got a little bit fortunate there with a the deflection off Maguire. One-two football at its finest. Bournemouth still working it well. Chance to hit it, delivers it back post. Still United trying to clear it. Lovely header there by Maguire. And now Man United can piece together the jigsaw puzzle and work it forward. Nice play by Greenwood, but couldn't quite lay it off to Jesse Lingard. Lively start here at Old Trafford. Match day number seven. Well done, Luke Short. Here comes Scott McTominay. He's gone round the other way to Martial. Flicks it on. And United are going to grow with confidence. They are going to get better in time. Especially when you learn to play without Pogba. But it does give other Manchester United players a chance as well to come into this lineup. 
and really show what they're all about. Lindelof. Luke Short. Oh, lovely turn of acceleration by Martial. Floats it in. Dangerous looking ball, but Buritz was there to pluck it out of the air. And remember, in a couple of weeks' time, Manchester United are taking on Liverpool. That is going to be a classic. Liverpool have not had the best of starts as well. McTominay tried to go back, but uh, to no avail. Does win himself a throw, though. wan it was his ball to Jesse Lingard. They've got the ball rolling against the Rangers. Now, there's a lot of space here for Luke Short. If he can get his head up, deliver it back. Post! Oh, it was inviting for Rashford. But great defending. And now United have a chance for the corner. 20 minutes played. It's fizzed in. It's come back to McTominay. Deflected and another United corner. Well, he has got Maguire at the back post. It's a great ball in. Martial is up this time. Solanke's there. Bournemouth haven't had too much of the ball here in this opening 20 minutes. And a clatter of two players. It'll be interesting to see which way he's given this. It should be a Manchester United foul. It's a no-brainer. It's a late challenge. Maguire. Fed out wide here to Martial. And it's another late one by Bournemouth. And this time in an inviting situation. Just outside the 18-yard box. But well played Martial. Just sort of let it run past his body. Well, unbelievably, the referee's given a foul the other way. I don't know how that's worked out. Surely that was a Manchester United foul. Not a whole lot Martial could do. Juan Bissaka. Tomine peeling away. Feeds it on to uh, Marcus Rashford. Greenwood. Oh, it's a lovely touch. It's Martial! 1-0 United and the crowd erupts at Old Trafford guess who's back Anthony Martial well, I tell you what give credit here to Rashford and this pass from Greenwood exceptional here it is Scott McTominay to Rashford look at the touch look at the flick and Martial had the ability to finish Back to Lerma. Francis. Just needing some support. Does find Brooks. Delivers it high. Looping back post all day for Ramiro. Be quite happy that he's starting today. Only ahead of David De Gea. Second game in a row. Rashford. Just looking for Jesse there. Solanke finding Brooks. We've got five minutes to play. Bournemouth have not done a whole lot this half. They've been uh, beaten to the ball nine times out of ten by Manchester United. But there is a chance down the flank here. Francis got to deliver. Being held up by his man, but he's turned him inside out. Lays it across. Brooks able to turn. Credit the defending. Not the clearance, though. Back to Sermon. Flick forward. Nice give and go. But Man United hot on the heels of their opponents. Daniels once more delivers it in. Looking back post. And it's over the bar. And uh, a good break, a good chance by Bournemouth, better by them. They didn't panic, they worked it out wide. But it was always going to be a tough header for Bournemouth in the end. And Solanke. But United don't often need too many chances, and I think that's what's warranted them so many points so far this season. They've taken what they can. Got the three points when they needed to, even if it's been a, a scrappy win. Final minute of the half. Daniels. Oh, this is beautiful. Chance now. Maguire's going to have to come across quickly. Try and win it. Still going, Maguire, but he's had no luck. This is the chance, and it's wide of the mark. So unlucky. But Man United have the narrow lead. One goal to nil. At Old Trafford at half time. Lindelof finds Luke Shaw. Once Manchester United do face Liverpool, it's going to be a tough spell for them. They've got the likes of Manchester City to come. I believe Chelsea as well. 
Obviously Tottenham, they haven't played any of the big teams yet. But they have also made sure that they've got the points where they can. Fed through the middle, here is King, but Bournemouth, they've got to get players forward. They had a real chance at the end of the first half that flashed past the post. A well played Martial. Feeds it off to Lingard. Looking to swing it round to uh, Marcus Rashford. Battling for it, lost it. Matic has been skipped past and now watch for the reverse ball through the middle. There it is, but Matic read it so, so well. And that's why he's in that role defensively, just ahead of the back line. To give him that extra layer of defence. Luke Shaw. Trying to play it to Lingard, that's a waste. There's only about four attempts in the first half, two for each side. Oh, careful, careful. Rashford now. He's gone all the way back to Matic. Finding Luke Shaw. Feeds it through, looking for Lingard. They hit it first time and with his level of confidence right now, no surprise that he didn't hesitate. Maguire staying with what he can and it's a good bit of defending. Question is, Man United are uh, outnumbered at the back there. A lot of Bournemouth players sort of congregating behind their own line. Here is King. Feeds it out wide. Chance to hit it. Decides not to. Back to Daniels. Floats it in. There's the header of Romero. Not knowing too much about it. Just parries it clear. Out for the corner. Good delivery. This is a perfectly timed ball and if that's in the corner, it could have been 1-1. One, uh, one, one. Rashford. Juan Vesaka deciding to start again with uh, Lindelof. To Martial. Man United this half, they haven't made the most of possession. Credit to Bournemouth, they keep plugging away. Knocking on the door. A couple of United players are absolutely steamed right now and they probably will come off very shortly. This time it's delivered high towards the back post. Nodded back off Jesse Lingard. Martial can try and bring it forward. He's lost it in a silly place. Well done Lindelof. Stuck in a toe. Pressure is mounting here. Man United have surely got to make some sort of a decision. Jose Mourinho has got to do something and the header this time over the bar by King. It's an onslaught right now. It's all one way. They just can't get that equalising goal. Rose well, but it was about a foot over. So the first two changes for United. Greenwood off, James on. And Fred replaces McTominay. Brooks fed through nicely. Stanilas. Credit to United. Win it back. Here comes Fred. Got a bit of pace about him, Fred, as well. So Marcus Rashford has gone through the middle. Lingard. Looking for Martial. He's got such good feet. Surely that's a foul ref. The referee today doesn't seem to like Martial at all. But he'll give a foul for that one. So you be the judge. Normally you get the favourable decisions at Old Trafford, but... Not today. Man United took the chance they had with Martial. Took it well. But they need a little bit extra in this final. Well, nearly 10 minutes. But balls like that, they're not going to help their cause. Terrible place to give it away. And there's an early chance for Stanilas. And, well, not Stanilas. Danjuma with the chance. Maybe the wrong option there. He had an overlapping run. You can see down the right-hand side. But he opted to... Quickly try and take the shot. Never troubling Romero. Less than 10 minutes to spare. It's not been pretty, but three points is all you really need. No one's going to look back and say the display wasn't good enough if you're walking out with three points. It's dropping the points, that's the problem. Great challenge by Maguire. Tried to feed it up the line. Here's King. Gets it back again. Francis delivers, looking near post. Romero was out. Fortunately, though, Man United, it fell to the right player because could have been some problems otherwise. And that was a real chance. Sloppy place to give it away. King. Danjuma. 
Well played, Maguire. Man United, they definitely look a different outfit when the likes of Maguire's at the back with Lindelof saying that. They've got space here, Bournemouth. They can quickly turn and hit this. They can. You'll probably feel like they're uh, a little bit unlucky today. Here's Fred. Finding wan now. Takes it into the corner. Starts again with Fred. Lingard. Feeds it back. Chance here for Nemanja Matic. And did scuff it in the end. He has got a good left foot. He scored some screamers in the past. But I think right here you'll see he smashes this with the outside of his boot. And he just never cleanly hits it. It's unlucky. So we have final a few minutes to play. Maybe three minutes to stoppage time. We'll see. It's going to be two minutes. As Lingard wins the challenge. One final throw maybe for Bournemouth. But it has to be a good one. There is a chance from distance. Deflection nearly took it over Ramiro. And he'll certainly take his time. Dish this one out to Maguire. And there's the full-time whistle. It's another scraped type of victory for Manchester United but Jose Mourinho will take it Martial's back on the score sheet and he'll probably be your man of the match so there it is I mean four attempts to eight you know Bournemouth had eight attempts they only had one on target though and that was their problem they have more passes than us. They'd probably look better than us. But hey, whatever. We still get the three points. Martial, yeah, man of the match today. My Rashford, a little bit disappointing, Rashford. But his stamina was just not good today. He was knackered in the first half. So the other results. Newcastle beat Aston Villa. Southampton drew against Burnley. Crystal Palace drew against West Ham. Sheffield United beat Wolves. Liverpool, 3-0 winners against Everton. Man City won 1-0 against Watford. Chelsea lost to Arsenal, Leicester City drew 1-1 and Tottenham Hotspur won yet again 3-1 winners against Brighton so it remains unchanged in the top 3, we're still 4 points behind Tottenham, they still have 7 out of 7, Arsenal 2nd we're 3rd, Liverpool 4 points behind us so it's going to be intriguing when we play them, uh, but they have scored 12 goals in what is that, 7 matches, so they're certainly scoring goals bottom of the table, Everton really struggling, Norwich and Crystal Palace so we'll return, ladies and gentlemen, to take on Wolves uh, away from home. So that should be fun. Derby day is coming up. Winning today is all well and good. But make sure you don't... Put... How are we meant to read that? How are you meant to read... Oh, I haven't a laugh. I didn't even hit the button. That, that just zoomed straight through. <laughs> okay, then. Nice to have the cutscenes, but you can't read them. Uh, Man United are looking to pile pressure on Liverpool going... Ugh, into their Derby clash with a win against Bournemouth. Uh, and Greenwood made a comment. You know, Greenwood's getting into it. He got an assist in the last game and it's getting better and better. But yeah, we have some big, big matches to come. Now let's have a look at those messages. We received an offer for Rojo. Okay, well, we'll have a look at that later. There's no point worrying about that right now. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. We shall return and we'll bash out the game against Wolves and then Liverpool. So it, it's going to get interesting and tougher. But we have to keep winning, keep the same formation, get the spirit up. Because trust me, having an 80 plus, 85 spirit, man, the team just, they click a little bit more. Um, and you know, there's something about Legend. I don't know if it's just me. I'm not playing, by the way, with any modded gameplay files. The only mods I have in the match or the game itself is like overlays and scoreboards and balls and stuff. But the gameplay is vanilla. But... You know, I've got to say that Legend, and yeah, I haven't played the top teams, but they haven't felt ridiculously scripted. As you can see, it's right there. I haven't changed nothing. They just make mistakes. They, they have chances. Some will go in, some won't. Um, and hopefully it stays the same because it's, it's not infuriating. I think that's the key word. But anyway, we'll return shortly. Subscribe for more, guys, and take care.